my creativity stemmed from a need and a want to destroy. I think in a way, you know, destroying things is a creative process, especially for a, a, a child growing up who doesn't necessarily understand the world. You know, I used to take my toys apart, or old broken toys, and I'd get a tube of soup glue, and I'd take the wings of a dinosaur, cut them off with a knife, and glue them onto a car, and have a flying car, and create these hybrid creations with my toys. And I think that was definitely the start of my creative process. My influences when I was growing up was fantasy art and illustration, and aliens and the unknown and things of the deep. An artist I admired who definitely sort of started me on the path is H.R. Geiger, who did the, the design for the Alien films. And a lot of his work, very kind of dark, very graphic. What I do now is a rebellion, I suppose, still against my childhood and the, the things that people told me I, I couldn't do or achieve. Especially my art teacher at school telling me that I'd, you know, I'd never get into art college and that I should give up sort of drawing all these aliens and monsters and things like that. That's definitely had a big influence on my life. I enjoy making animals, birds, aquatic life. So I think nature as a sketchbook is a resource. All your source material is there, you know, everything around you, looking at the world around you and observing the world around you. We've got all this amazing wildlife and biodiversity, and I think that's something that needs to be celebrated, as well as, you know, drawing attention to things like endangered species and conveying that message through art is quite key in a lot of the pieces I create. It's really important to use recycled materials wherever I can. Even, even recycling processes cost a lot of energy, so I like to intervene before things even have to go to that process, recycle it before it even has the chance to expend any more energy on the planet. There's so many fantastic shapes in, in mechanics, in you know, motorbike chain, sprockets, clutches, and I love I'd love to be able to sort of use them and they inspire some of the things I make, especially with like nautical creatures, you know, you've got these suckers and air holes and blowholes and all these almost alien creatures and you can find those shapes within, within the pieces I use. I derive a huge amount of pleasure from using things that have no value, the things that are unloved and left behind, like a a rusty file or like you know an old an old pair of pliers that are completely seized up that once had a life especially if they're really old i love being able to give them a new life and increase their value by a huge you know beyond that little pair of pliers is wildest dreams <laughs> i really love that process i love paying homage to those old broken tools and giving them such a new admiration and respect from people Now the creative process for me is quite a solitary experience, which isn't a negative thing at all, you know, it's, it's how I spend my day, it's where my thoughts are engaged. I always have an idea in my head about the, the character or the personality of the creature I'm making, and I'm, I'm going to try and feel that myself, I want to get into that, that mood or that, that feeling of what I'm trying to project, you know, where you place that eye or you know, how you place the eyelids. Because once you've welded it together, there's no changing, you've got a fixed character or personality, so it's got to be right. I 
I think that's one of the challenges with what I do, is making sure you've got that character captured. The thing I enjoy the most within the process of my work is actually nearing, nearing the completion of a project. That's when you see this thing that almost still looks inanimate come to life when it's still just a rusty load of junk that's welded together into some interesting shapes. It's when you buff it and polish it, give like the highlights in the eye and create those finishing touches that then just bring the piece to life. I work and I get to interpret, express and create what I want. Sometimes I, I think I'm still that child gluing my toys together and still it's like it amazes me. I, it, I feel like I'm getting away with it. You know, as an adult, for me it's the best job in the world. Making all these crazy sculptures that people really enjoy to see. It gives people a lot of pleasure and satisfaction and it gives me immense satisfaction as well and it's, it is what I'm passionate about doing. Thank you.